Kia ora, ko Krum Tako Ingoa. Have you ever had a kororo with someone and been so confused that you went, what? Or you all wondered why someone was having a tantrum over a small thing and you thought, why are they acting like that? Or been astounded by how quickly someone can solve difficult math problems? Well, that's what I'm going to be talking about. The brain is made up of three main parts, the cerebrum, the cerebellum, and the brainstem. The cerebrum is the biggest part of the brain, and it's made of two hemispheres. It's used for more complex tasks like your vision, senses, touch, hearing, smell, and taste. It is also involved with speech, emotions, learning, and movement. The cerebellum is found under the cerebrum. Its function is to control the muscle movements to keep good posture and balance. The brainstem is used as a connection between the cerebrum and the cerebellum to the spine. It's responsible for your breathing and your heartbeat. Here are some interesting facts that I bet you didn't know. The human brain weighs about 1.4 kgs. On average, the male's brain is about 10% larger than the female's. The average human brain is made up of 60% fat, which is approximately 840 grams of fat. The human brain contains about 86 billion nerve cells or neurons called gray matter. The human brain triples in size during the first year of life and reaches full size at age 25. An American railroad worker who was involved in an accident where a large iron rod went right through his head. Most of his left frontal lobe was destroyed. This resulted in a massive personality change. After the accident, he became catchy, rude, even in sport at times, which was not what he was like before the tragedy. He showed little care for his followers. He also had a tantrum whenever he was given advice when it conflicts with what he wants. In conclusion, the frontal lobes, which take up the front third of the brain, are used as a control of higher functions such as judgment, motivation, behavior regulations, and social realization. The frontal lobe is what makes us human. Temperament is your behavior style. It shows how you react to situations and how you express your emotions. Characteristics of temperament include activity level, distractibility, adaptability, sensitivity, and quality of mood. Everybody has their own characteristics and patterns of behavior that influence the way we, that they respond to daily events in their life. This is called their temperament. Here are some examples. Activity level. Would you rather shoot goals or lay on the couch? Distractibility. How good are you at focusing? Are you more keen to zone out? Intensity. Are you usually pretty measured or do you have an outsized reaction to negative or positive news? Regularity. Is your routine stable or does it vary every day? Sensitivity. How much do you react to external stimuli? like bright lights or itchy clothing. Approachability, do you love traveling and meeting new people or are you a bit shy? Adaptability, how well you handle change. Persistence, how long you'll keep trying until things get hard. Mood, are you generally a bit cheerful or a bit blue? The brain is a very interesting body part and scientists are still trying to figure out its mysteries. Thank you for listening.